she studied all the sugar, the spice, and all these nice, sweet, my love. Hey guys, Sweet Milo here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are good. I'm with this one again. Yeah, she's here. Quick question. Mm -hmm. Do people not already know that you're Sweet Milo? Yeah, they know, <laughs> but I have a new service. So, uh, and if someone just uh, randomly uh, runs into my video, they must know. Mm. Hi, I'm Sweet, Sweet Milo. Here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Anyway, so today, guys, we are talking about um, do blind people actually help each other, each other yes. uh, climb the ladder? Is it leather or ladder? Mm -hmm. Not leather, Ella, yeah, it's leather jacket. Yeah, it's really leather. That's no, how pronounce it. Don't but it's, it's ladder, L A D D E R and L E A T. But if we were not here for grammar, um, there's a great phrase that I had um, some time ago where somebody said that when you enter an elevator, mm -hmm. when you get to the floor that you're going to, never forget to press G mm -hmm. so that it goes back and it takes those that you've left oh, behind. Wow. Hmm. Mm. Do generally blind, no, not even, if you even forget to blind people, people, black, black people. Because I, I, I have this belief that the other race is not as well. I know, I know. I, know. <laughs> I, I, I can just, you know, I'll talk to my boss for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, people generally, or black people, as she says, I have this thing that when I make it in my location, they must know that, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. the one who's made it uh, during Easter, I'm the one who's supposed to come back with the car, and mm. then. Get them two, two years, and I feel like Milo has made it. They never really want to take people up with them. Mm. Does that same scenario apply uh, with blind Most people? Definitely. Also. Most definitely. Uh, in some instances, it even applies with lies. Um, with what? Lies. Oh, okay. One will claim that they've made it and they want you to feel that they've mm. made it. You know, everybody wants to be the first blind person who did one, two, three. Mm. And actually, the first and only blind person who did one, two, three. So they won't help you, especially if you're doing the same thing as them. Like, <laughs> um, I'm going to put you in a very tight spot. There's an author, blind mm -hmm. author. That you were in conversation with <laughs> do you think they fully helped you with what you were inquiring about um not really i would really say that um they'll, they'll they'll make you feel or make you believe that i want to help you but hey you must know that it's very difficult okay <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, chances of you not accomplishing what you want to accomplish are very very high um so yeah i don't want to talk about that particular issue <laughs> but i knew it something that you mentioned that uh the lying part do you think it's a question of uh, self-esteem on the person's side yeah 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 i think so so i want you to i want i always want to be better than you yeah of course of course of course <laughs> so what would what would entail what exactly is a uh, uh, pressing the elevator down for another blind person again you are gonna be the example <laughs> mm. your workplace mm -hmm. if you find a visually impaired um, employee mm. that has been there for two years mm. I believe uh, in some instances they should hold your hand right mm -hmm. and guide you and tell you when i was here this and this happened the, these are the challenges i faced um i would like you to prevent them from happening to you and this is how you do it mm -hmm. does it happen <laughs> she's really putting me in a compromise i hope okay you still want to be employed exactly. <laughs> I, I still want to be employed on monday <laughs> So, 
but yeah you're making a valuable point more especially if a person is someone that understands you mm. uh, fully understands you or has an element of understanding that as a blind person these are some of the challenges that you come across those are the areas that they should focus on mm -hmm. for example they should tell you that uh, when it comes to uh, doing this and that on the system this is how you do it not just to throw you in the deep end and say oh man figure it out yourself yeah. and when you fail sort of like make you think that you see it's not as easy as you thought mm -hmm. you know but but then again in in my i would like to think that i i, I try to um what's the word um give some form of um, techniques to, to climb the ladder for blind people. But in my context, it's more of, uh, for example, motivating them that, hey guys, if you want to make it as a blind person, you know what, you can go and work at shop, right? Uh, you can go and be a construction worker or something like that. Let's go to school, guys. Um, yeah. Let's one, two, and three. But I find, a challenge or a difficulty with them actually executing that do you think that actually has an influence mm -hmm. in a uh, blind people I was, saying i was about to say that some will come to you um seeking help but then you try and help them and they're just like you know they're passive mm. so you end up being like okay no i am actually not gonna help blind people anymore which is unfair mm. um you helped to or tried to help to mm -hmm. and they were not responsive and then you're thinking ah, <laughs> probably all of them are like that so yeah so helping someone climb the ladder is not uh, taking them and putting them on your back mm -hmm. and you actually climbing the ladder with them on your back mm -hmm. so for someone who's sitting there and they're trying to understand what exactly it means to help someone climb the ladder how would you describe it <laughs> and put it to them like in plain black and white. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not good in explaining. Mm. I'm good in example. What's the word? Example time. <laughs> no, <laughs> you went off. Yeah, I think that one sounds better. Uh -huh. Exemplify. Uh -huh. It even sounds easy on the oh, tongue. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh -huh. um, for example, if someone like you is an aspiring author, mm -hmm. um, you don't necessarily sit with them every time they write mm -hmm. and take their book and say, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll show your manuscript to my man. Mm -hmm. No. You, through your experiences, you guide them to get where they want to get. To, to, to be so you would explain to them how you self-published mm. what are some of the challenges how mm. do you think they should tackle it you're not gonna publish their book for them mm. so yeah that is an example so for for those who we say for example Ahmed, i'm gonna go back to my previous example where you say where we're saying guys um let us go to school let us, let us at least finish matric and you see that people are not really into that they are comfortable with the leadership and all of that how do you help people like that to so tell them leave them alone mm. yeah you give simple up. you just leave them alone so there's this person who has been saying for almost four years that they want to go and finish their matric but then when you try to help them they're mm. just yeah and then comes January and then someone says my so year's re resolution is to go back to school <laughs> okay all right okay so in short uh, how I would uh, simplify it is uh, when I press G after I get off the elevator mm -hmm. those who are willing to get into the lift are the ones who are going to be assisted if you don't get into the lift Bye. then I I can't drag you into the lift Mm -mm. Uh, that's like now will be there on floor 13 already <laughs> so i can't exactly break you literally but yeah anyway guys that is our two cents worth of opinion on how uh, blind people actually deal with uh, helping each other climb the ladder i hope you enjoyed this video like i always say well before i say that don't forget to like share <laughs> and subscribe what's the like i always say 
Sweet. <laughs> <laughs>